you guys agree? Okay. Yeah. So the first thing is, let's figure out where it's discontinuous. Now, both of these functions are continuous functions, right? Both of these functions are continuous functions. So we know there's no discontinuity here. That's a line. That's a quadratic. But we know there could be a discontinuity at what value? 1, right? So what we'd want to do is basically just check to make sure that the continuity. So I'm going to say negative 3 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 1. Therefore, I get here, it's going to be a negative 2. This is going to be negative 3 equals negative 2. f of x is continuous. Make sense? Continuous, that's good. Now, now we need to check differentiability. Okay? So to make sure that this is continuous, what I wrote down is the derivative on the left and the right have to be the same. Right? You can't have two different derivatives, and then it's not differentiable. You have to have the derivative is going to be equal on the left and the right hand side. So what we're going to do is now take the so dr dx of negative 3x plus 1 has equal d over dx of x squared minus 2x minus 1. And then at that point. So first thing, um, so that is at x equals 1. This is at x equals 1. Right? We want to find the different. Not, we don't want the derivatives we know are not the same. We want to find is the derivative the same at that point. So here we take the um, derivative, which is negative 3. Here we take the derivative, which is going to be um, 2x minus 2 at x equals 1. And then you go ahead and plug this in. Negative 3 is equal to 2 times 1 minus 2. Negative 3 is equal to 0, which is does not work. So therefore, it is not differentiable at that point. Okay. So it's continuous, but it's not differentiable. 